In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to punch in and out of previously recorded material. You do this when you want to replace a small portion of something you've already recorded. Generally, this isn't done in destructive record mode since you may want to go back to a previous take. There are a number of options for punching in and out. We will cover a couple in this tutorial. The more comfortable you are with Pro Tools, the more you'll figure out which one works for you. One option is to position your punch in and out using the start and end fields in the transport window. Just enter the exact value of where it should start and end, or you can select a range. Your start and end indicators will reflect your selection. Remember that in order for this to work, you need to have enabled options, link timeline, and edit selection. Your current edit mode will influence the selector. I'll switch to slip mode, and I can expand my current selection by holding down the shift key while I drag. Let's do it again on this side. You want to enable a pre-roll. This will let you hear where you're at in order to sync up with the track for recording or to get from your computer to your keyboard or guitar. Arm the track for recording. Arm Pro Tools for recording. When you're ready to punch in or out, click play or press the spacebar. Okay, obviously this take stinks. Let's just undo it with a Control or Command Z, or you can click Edit and Undo Record, but leave your selection active. Then all you have to do is arm your track and arm Pro Tools again to begin the punch in and out again. This might be a good opportunity to adjust your levels if you felt that they didn't match your previous recording very well. And let's try it again. As you can see, Pro Tools records over the previous take, but doesn't record past the end of your selection. I might need to fine-tune this a little bit. Let's do some trimming. Now the Quick Punch and Track Punch recording modes, and this last one is only available to HD users, let you punch in and out on the fly. With Quick Punch enabled, you can click the record button on and off during playback to punch in and out on any record-enabled track. We show you how to do this in our tutorial on recording modes. By the way, you don't need Quick Punch on MIDI tracks. MIDI tracks go automatically in and out of record mode when you turn the record button on and off during playback, even during normal play mode. You only need Quick Punch for audio tracks. And this concludes our tutorial on punching in and out.